After a week in the Romanian capital of Bucharest, we went 180 kilometers north by train to Brasov, staying right in the city's old town. Brasov is nestled in the southern Carpathian Mountains in the Romanian region of Transylvania. Brasov felt a lot like Goslar, Germany, and that's because both were built by German Saxons during the Middle Ages. In the 12th century, Saxons from the Holy Roman Empire were offered land in Transylvania, which was then part of the Kingdom of Hungary. In exchange, they were to fortify the region against invaders coming west from Central Asia. Today, Central Brasov has a wonderful old Europe feel. Our Airbnb was right in the middle of Old Town, close to everything that we needed on a daily basis. With multiple units sharing a central courtyard, it was peaceful and quiet even on busy weekends and the fascinating history was laid out for us by the owners. Purchased around 1870, it stayed in the family until 1952 when the communist government seized the property and evicted them all. Post-communism, it still took nearly 20 years of legal wrangling to get it back, and over 50 years of neglect had left the place a disaster. Renovation started in 2010 and there were six units for rent when we were there. Work continues and progress was made during our stay. We put the link to the property in the video description. The Brasov Main Square is the center of life in Old Town. Even though the town hall has been moved out of its 15th century home in the square, it's rarely empty almost every time of day. And in August, it hosts Brasov's many festivals. One weekend was for traditional Romanian music. But the biggest was the Jazz and Blues Festival, running for 10 days with different acts in multiple city squares. We thoroughly enjoyed the wide variety of excellent music. These weren't the only activities in Brasov. A park just outside of Old Town hosted the Lavender Festival. And, true to Brasov's German origins, the athletic fields in the outskirts put on a sizable Oktoberfest. Transylvanian Saxons of Brasov also built the so-called Black Church in the 14th and 15th centuries. The 16th century Protestant Reformation that started in Germany made its way to Brasov and this is now a Lutheran church. The beautiful 19th century pipe organ is regularly played for services and concerts. When the Saxons fortified the town, building up the outer walls and bastions for protection, those served the dual purpose of segregating the population. Only Saxons were able to own property inside the walls, and the Orthodox ethnic Romanians had to build their community and church outside the safety of the fortifications. Romanians were permitted inside the gates, primarily for selling goods after paying an entry toll, but they had to leave by curfew under severe penalty of imprisonment and even execution. These policies were finally removed in the 18th century. With all the mountains around Brasov, there are plenty of scenic hikes. Just on the edge of Old Town, the Chu River runs outside the walls. Hiking up to the two watchtowers perched on the adjacent hill provides a good overlook of the town. A 20-minute bus ride southwest of town 
takes you to Solomon Rocks. These limestone outcroppings are a draw for rock climbers and mountain bikers. But there are plenty of trails where you can go for long, leisurely, forested walks by babbling brooks. The most iconic hikes in Brashov are up Mount Tampa to the Brashov sign and TV tower. The twisting, sometimes narrow and steep trails can be challenging, but there are plenty of places to stop and rest. Of course, the cable car is an option, up or down. And however you get to the top, the views of Brashov are unmatched. A couple of hours northwest of Brashov, we explored other Saxon settlements. Closest to Brashov, perched on a rocky outcropping, Rupea Castle looms over the surrounding area. Saxons built this fortress in the 1200s and expanded it for nearly 600 years. But the site itself has been a strategic location since long before the Romans. A short drive from Rupea, Viskri is a rustic farming village that has its own charm and feels partially frozen in time. Instead of building a separate castle for defense, the residents of Biskri, as in other Saxon towns, fortified its church. Saxons thrived in Biskri and the rest of Transylvania for 600 years. In the 20th century, two world wars depleted the population, and at the end of World War II, still more were deported by the Soviets to work in Siberian labor camps. After the fall of communism, still more immigrated to the West. Today, ethnic Saxons number fewer than 15,000 in all of Romania, only 10 in Biskri. About two hours from Brasov, Sigishwara lies on the Tarnava Mare River. Climbing up through the fortified old town with its distinctive clock tower, and just off the colorful main town square, you can visit the birthplace of Romania's most famous and infamous son, Vlad Cepes, the Impaler, also known as Vlad Dracula. Vlad II, Prince of Wallachia in what's now southern Romania, was a knight of the Hungarian Dragon Order, granting the title of Dracul. In exile in Hungarian-controlled Transylvania, his son, Vlad III, was born in Sigishwara. The younger Vlad earned the moniker Impaler from his ruthless practice of impaling thousands of his enemies on stakes, making him a national hero for the defense of Wallachia. But one 1897 work of fiction has completely overshadowed the real Vlad Dracula transforming the Romanian prince into a Hungarian count. Vampire tourism has taken over the Transylvanian town of Bran. Even though neither the town nor its castle have any connection to the real or fictional Dracula. But that doesn't stop tourists from taking over the town every day. Outside of the tourist zone, Bran is a charming little town with beautiful architecture and at least one perch to enjoy some local beers away from the crowds. While queues were long at Bran Castle, this museum about the life of Romania's last queen was empty except for us. Queen Marie owned Bran Castle until her death in 1938 but due to some royal family squabbles, her museum is in a separate house. 
Another royal castle lies south of Brasov, less than an hour by train in the mountain town of Sanaya. Carol I, the first king of an independent and united Romania in 1881, fell in love with the scenery and decided to build a summer home and hunting grounds here. The auxiliary buildings, like the carriage house, now a hotel and restaurant, the gatehouse, and Peleshore Castle, where Queen Marie spent her final days, are beautiful by themselves. But King Carol's primary summer residence, Pelish Castle, is straight out of a fairy tale. Grandiose and beautifully elaborate, it complements the natural beauty of the surrounding Carpathian Mountains. The interior is elaborate and richly decorated, on par with any castle in Western Europe. Pelish isn't on the usual American list of castles to visit, but it should be. As should Brasov. and the other Transylvanian towns.